Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video we are talking about capacitor. So I have been aware of this project for a long time and finally it is in here. And right now it says it's coming early 2018 but actually the alpha version of capacitor is out. So a lot of you might be asking what is capacitor? Now just to give you a brief idea about capacitor I would like to compare it with some of the other frameworks and stuff like this so that you can get clear idea. So Facebook has got React Native. Recently, Google has got Flutter and finally, Ionic has got Capacitor. Now, this is an amazing product and I really, really recommend if you are onto that side of the river where you work on Angular or Cordova, PhoneGap or something like this, you should really keep a close eye on this project. If you go onto this docs, uh, we can simply say that Capacitor is a cross-platform app runtime that makes it easy to build web apps that runs natively on iOS, Android, as a desktop app using Electron and the web. And of course, they're calling it as a native progressive web app. I highly, highly recommend everybody to keep an eye on this project. But in case you are already aware or working on React or React Native, then you can just completely uh, avoid this as of now. In case you have your opinion about Flutter, you might want to go into that. Also, you can avoid this one. But in case you are interested in Angular, TypeScript, Cordova, Apache Cordova, or Adobe PhoneGap, then obviously it is. Now again, they openly mentioned that this project is inspired by React Native. So obviously all of these projects are being inspired by React Native. It is really killing it. Now it really makes sense that all of these guys are moving into that. That really openly, uh, openly mentions that the hybrid apps are going really out of the market. I highly recommend you to switch on to this. Installation is pretty, pretty simple. And I, I would say that this is one appreciable point by the capacitor guys. I really like the installation process. It's totally NPM dependent. Uh, I really worked on a couple of projects on React, not like a big scale, just like toy apps. And the installation process was totally pain. It was simple, but not at all something which I liked. I like the way how it is being installed simply by NPM install, and then you can just go for the capacitor. I liked it. And you can also look onto the documentation about how you can produce your build your app for uh, iOS or for the Android or for the web or for the desktop application. So really a good project. Will I be using it into the production as of now? You know the rule of the thumb here. It is right now in a very early phase in alpha. Uh, so no, not at all. This is out just to keep an eye to have some play, playish app or toyish app uh, with this project. But definitely, should you be keeping an eye on to it? Of course it is. So my recommendation openly now to everybody is, hey, if you are still into the hybrid apps, everybody is shifting toward the native apps using Flutter, React Native, uh, these capacitors. So even the guy who are using Cordova or something like this, Ionic has openly mentioned their intention with this that yes, capacitor is out and we highly recommend everybody to switch on to it. So worth a give a shot, definitely recommend. I'll leave the link in the description so that you can uh, at least check out the website updates. Uh, this, is, this project is in a very fast progress of being built up. Uh, I have been aware of it for a while and you'll see a really tremendously fast updates in this project. Definitely keep an eye on that. So this was a quick update about the capacitor by Ionic team. And in case you have enjoyed this quick tip news about this, we talk all about these programming stuff, latest tents and technology which are just coming out there. In case you like that, give this video a thumbs up. In case you have enjoyed it more, do share the video. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.